All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Brent's Trail. We got Pat here. Say hey. hi, Pat. We got uh, my brother, hey. Colton. We had some tornadoes sweep through Iowa yesterday, and uh, we might get them again today, but the chances are kind of undetermined, so we're going to be playing that by ear. Should be fun, though. It should be a lot of fun. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Colton walks so fast. <laughs> Out in the Los Hills, it's very steep and nasty, and this is our first hill of the entire trip. I recommend just taking your time and breathing on these things, because you can get nasty after Pretty the 20th. It rained yesterday too. Yep. So this is uh, really always stuff that I look for out here is anything that's off the ground, which not ideal, but something like this. You know, that could be dry in a wet environment. It thunderstormed and rained heavy out here the other day, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm not gonna take much, but let's take some strips. Be good uh, fire kindling for us later in case we don't find anything drier, so always kind of be on the lookout for stuff like this. Omaha, Nebraska's in that direction. Nebraska is basically just over 20, 20 miles that way. So I think the plan for the night is I got my hammock. I have a hammock set up and Colton and Pat, they both have a tent. So we're gonna try to find an area where we can set up a tent and a hammock, but we'll have to see how that goes. My experience, it's usually better to tent camp out here, but we'll see. Let's see what we find. We're probably gonna hike for about four or five miles. I don't really know for sure, but then find somewhere to camp, somewhere cool, where we can watch the tornado come. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Of course knows a way to carry this sleigh. What's the rest song? Got a nice stick there, Pat? Sure do. Perfect length, see that? Nipple height. Wow, That's what you that want looks right very supportive. Right, yeah, it's a great stick. Looks <laughs> very supportive. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Every step backwards feels like 10 steps backwards. Lord have mercy, what is this? It's 33 degrees. It's pretty Looks like 80 it's degrees pretty to me. Steep, it's slick too. It rained yesterday. Oh, Jesus. It's real steep. It's hard for the camera to tell, but I mean, we're at like 33, 60 degrees. Not 60. That's pretty steep. 33. 30 seems right. Yeah. It's not 45. I tell you what, man, this is every bit as hard as rock climbing. Yeah, Jack, you're just saying. This isn't as bad as I remember. This, was, this is bad. This is what I remember. This is tough. At least it's cool out. If it was hot, hot right now, whew, I'd be complaining, I think, <laughs> already. You're too slow and steady. I should be the first. I can't believe it. You guys are owning me. Well, you know, you know me, the second it becomes a race somehow. Yeah, I kicked my ass. I saw you walking in front of me and I start speeding <laughs> up. I had the walking stick advantage too. There it is, boys. That is the first big hill. Y'all heard that we had an actionable moment here. Yeah, we have a decision to make. We're gonna have to decide whether to uh, kind of camp near a field, uh, there's because there's a lot of flat plains around here or in the forest, so. Um, what are your initial thoughts? Probably gonna have to do somewhere with both because we have a tent uh, hammock. <laughs> Your, your name, you're Josie, right? Yeah. Here, here's Josie. We, we met, we met her out here. 
And that's that's Audrey, right? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> You're from Nebraska. Nebraska. Nebraska and the Des Moines area. <laughs> kind of fun meeting people out here. Uh, well, two siblings won't stay back. We all go on this hike, and when I tell you, it was tick infested. Uh oh. We were so uh -oh. grossed out. It was about probably three quarters of a mile in before we realized how bad it was. It's like the first one just... <laughs> Did you get your legs break? Yeah. Different muscles? I didn't know that, but and that's that way, interesting. If you fall down the hill, you're already facing where you're falling. <laughs> All right, what's the game plan, J-Bomb? Got about three, two miles left probably to the end. Which will be nice, because I don't think we've ever successfully got to the end. Because sunset is like... Yeah. We didn't, have, we didn't have to camp off the trail. This would be a cool spot just for the uh, yeah. reflectivity of the fire. Jesus. That was a good save. Whew. That was a close one. I almost fell too. We're in about mile six at point eight. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little beat down out here. You can tell I'm breathing, I'm trying to breathe. Uh, people I'm with are actually think they're doing better than I am. Hopefully this doesn't mean there's thunderstorms rolling in. I think it still looks okay so far though. We better keep moving. We want to finish this trail, get to the end, and then get a camp set up because there might be a chance of tornadic activity tonight. But I'm not too worried because the chances of one hitting us should be very low. I'm more worried about getting up these hills. One step at a time. Every step at this point feels like all the weight sits on my Damn it's brutal. It's brutal. We're at the home stretch. I am not gonna lie, I'm utterly exhausted. We're gonna be finishing this, going up there. Our end should be kinda somewhere right there. So, trying to get up this, and then we're gonna make camp. We're nearing the end, folks. And I am beat. Those hills kick my ass every time. Every time. Oh, this wind feels so good right now. It feels so good. We made it. We're at the end of Brent's. It's a little bit later in the day, so we're done with this. We finished and we're gonna be headed to camp.
it's not. I think that thing's definitely dead. So not good. This is a very classic uh, situation here where we didn't bring a tent. So uh, we're going to have to use all of our gear and get very creative to make a shelter that will keep us free from the bugs. Uh, that's basically my only concern are the bugs. I'm not really worried about anything else. I think we can probably get up in time to get out of the rain. So because it is going to downpour tomorrow too, but we're we're going to rough it out. So like, I'm sorry, Pat, that your first experience. Experience. You don't even get a tent, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get a tent, man. I'm sorry. We'll figure it out. Dude, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I could have swore you were bringing the tent. I didn't even think to ask you. So I did bring a, sh a shelter. I brought a hammock. So I have a complete hammock set up here. Kind of scrambling here to set up uh, some makeshift shelters because we only have one hammock set up and nothing else. So we're going to be getting creative tonight. Going to be a lot of daddy long legs crawling around. So that should be pretty, um, pretty interesting night, I think. There, we'll have to see how that goes. We'll definitely have to see how that one goes. Since it's raining pretty, it's going to rain pretty bad tonight. That could actually be in a good thing for us could end up being a good thing for us not gonna lie I am pretty tired right now my brother he's he's tired too but he's working hard right now he's working hard so is Pat over there he's working hard too we got our fire going here so this is kind of what our shelter is looking like again Pat's gonna be sleeping in there because he's kind of the new time camper so we're being merciful merciful with him Be a little claustrophobic but that's kind of the way i like it keeps things a little bit warmer in my opinion i'm gonna probably be sleeping literally like just in this just under him so that's where i'm gonna be sleeping i like to try to get more sleep on the weekends because i've been having trouble sleeping lately but i don't think i'm gonna get much sleep this weekend it's all right though that's what next weekend's for. It's 4.55 and we already got some uh, thunder coming in. Oh, dude, it just got cold. It's cold too, yeah. Temperatures are dropping. Might be good for the bugs though, keeping the bugs away. <laughs> Probably gonna get pretty hot, Pat. Yep. Well, the rain's coming in, so we need that's to true, get that's it true. burning quick. Where's well, a good point? Okay, so I think this tree is gonna work really well for what I want. It's clearly dead. Yeah, definitely dead. So we're gonna take this. YouTube audience, I'm not gonna lie, this trip has turned into a complete and utter disaster because I forgot hot chocolate. I don't have any hot chocolate to drink tonight or coffee to drink. I have nothing. There's nothing for the morning. I have no morning meal at all. It's just been a disaster. There was a tornado last night and it discombobulated me and got me all out of whack. And so I'm just all out of sorts. And now, now we're just struggling to survive out here don't have a tent so it's yeah and it's looking ominous in that direction it doesn't really look that promising we'll keep you posted yes we will that does look cool though like this is a cool vibe okay so we're under the tarp it's hopefully we can get some food here Good job on that bed of coals. You were able to definitely make some strong coals real quick, which we definitely need. Yes. Nice setup, too. If fire goes out, I don't think it's coming back easily. 
and then we just keep tying to it. Ooh, it's sizzling. Nice. Probably too hot, honestly. But... Hey, careful. <laughs> We're moving all this, careful. Oh, oh. Real hot. Oh yeah, she's. We're gonna have a fucking grease fire. Oh, I've had plenty of them. <laughs> At least it'll burn well. We've got ourselves a grease fire. Thank Pat for making some bacon while it's pouring out. Careful, those ones are hot. We're gonna keep trying. Oh shit. Take care not to get too wet out there. Let's go take a look at Pat's steaks he's cooking over here. Here, have some of this for the bugs get to it, bro. Take a piece. I kind of like the first so so much fucking bacon. <laughs> right, good man. He knows I like bacon. Alright folks, I'm gonna dig in, enjoy this steak, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Okay, so it's about seven o'clock and it seems the storm's passed, but it's hard to say because you look in the distance out there and it's still pretty ominous looking and still hearing occasional thunder and I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, but sometimes I feel like I still see lightning. We're fine now. Colton's cleaning his toes over there and Pat's putting some boots on, so it's a great steak, by the way. Excellent steak. I'm still going to save more for later. I got mine, too. I got full by that bacon. Yeah, you know, those steaks are big. And, of course, now it's not raining. And they... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like... Try cooking in the rain and making a grease fire. Try it as hard as we could <laughs> to get our food cooked, because we are worried it was just going to pour the whole time. It actually ended up being pretty nice out. So, again, Colton and I, we don't have uh, any type of shelter. We're literally sleeping under this tarp only. Why don't you show them under here? Yeah. Well, I don't think there's much to show, but I will. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I'll be up here. Yeah, that's here where right Pat's going to be sleeping. We're, we're on the ground. And then our gear will be somewhere, hopefully, where it doesn't get rained on. So... So that's gonna be my night, sleeping on a insect infested ground, which I love doing. But it should be fine. Should, should be fine. <laughs> should, should be fine. Past 8 oh, eight uh oh, what was that? It's past 8 p.m. and uh, oh, 
And that is my brother. He found some bugs and uh, it's probably his stuff. But uh, yeah, it's getting dark and needless to say, it's going to be an interesting night. I think it's time for my dessert. What do you got? <laughs> you can only see your light. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Do you like the sample of this? Yeah. Wow. Oh, here. Huh? You don't want them coyotes? Are you throwing? Dude, I was gonna eat that. Yes, are you done with it? <laughs> I thought you were talking about the part at the end. What? Right I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait. Just kidding. I was gonna eat that. Dude, are you serious? Night's drawing near out here. The coyotes have not made their appearance quite yet. Didn't do a lot of bushcraft or any of that today. This was all very simple. Um, you might consider this a little bushy, I guess. I'd say it's a lack of bushcraft. But yeah, that's gonna be real interesting. You can see how dark it's getting. That's where we're gonna be sleeping, right it's under nice there. It's warm under here though. Yeah, it is nice and warm. All right, I gotta test this thing out. It'll be warm, like, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the rains tonight. Yeah, I'm worried about rain tonight. Uh, should be a lot of rain, so we're gonna see how that goes. We're pretty exhausted, all of us are very exhausted. We hiked well over eight miles today, well over eight. And with backpacks, heavy backpacks, we had to carry all of our water, so there was no water that we just filtered. It was all carried, which makes for a very long hike. Yeah, we're exhausted, so like, we're probably getting ready to go to bed as soon as it gets sunsets, but who knows when that'll be. And just a few seconds later, it has started raining, folks. The rain has already begun for the night, so I'm throwing some more logs on. Oops, that one fell. By the way, today is April 27th of 2024. Is it 2024? <laughs> yeah, I was actually being serious about that. It's funny. Um, of 2024, so wow, 2024 already. That's crazy. I kind of have to like get in under here. All right, guys, it is basically night. As you can see in that camera, there's no light left, or very little. Kind of see some light like this we threw this giant log on what? yeah we're gonna be yeah did you see us to do that no so i think we're gonna see what that'll do for us and you know like throw some rest of the logs on a bit get them resituated better i'm gonna get in <clears throat> Time for me to get in.
So yeah, it's about 6 in the a.m. We just got up. We survived without having a tent. We did have a tarp though, which was pretty crucial. Pretty dark as you can still see. I always feel like once you start TPing it, it catches quick. Is that because the heat rises to it? There's some type of force, yeah. Heat rises, so yeah, all the heat kind of gets absorbed Catch by it. wood some way or another. Keep putting more on here now, we're gonna need. Get so I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of upset right now because I didn't bring any coffee and I told everybody I was bringing coffee and, and I didn't bring nothing. But my brother, he brought a uh, monster, Ultra Rosa, so he is gracious enough to share it with us. He doesn't have to, but he's he's going to, so I'm very grateful. Um, and we're gonna crack it right now. The one-handed oh. crack, one-handed crack. Oh. oh, sounds like civilization. Yeah, I feel like we're back home already. Ah. <sighs> Surprising night. Uh, we started when it was getting dark and we noticed a bunch of bugs crawling under our sleeping bags. Yeah, I didn't notice any at night, but I might not just have seen them. But yeah, good night of sleep. We've been kicking Pat all night, readjusting in our that was funny. <laughs> sleeping bags and just smacking them. I, I knew I smacked them a couple times. I didn't know you did. Oh, yeah, it was like a damn pinata up there. I was like, holy shit, I hope Pat was asleep so he didn't see that. <laughs> Ticks. Yeah, we're gonna get a uh, tick bed rolled hey, up here. Next. Okay, so we got this campsite cleared up. This is where we were sleeping. You can tell definitely. It looks kind of lumpy now, but it wasn't too bad. It was not too bad, really. This is all that's left of our fire here. We're gonna dump some water on it. In fact, probably right now. Colton just finishing the rest of his stuff and fires definitely looks out pretty much. There's my bag. I think we're gonna start hiking out of here. It won't be a crazy hike. We're just gonna hike the road, so we're not gonna kill ourselves this morning. We are off. We're getting out of these. Ooh. Watch out there, Pat. Getting out of these hills. Yeah, that is a good point. We didn't have any thunderstorms last night like I thought we would. So we got super, super lucky there. Because I have a feeling it would have been a super long night. I went to sleep around 9, got up at 6. So it would have been really long night keeping everything dry from torrential downpour it does look a little ominous doesn't it any of you guys think anybody actually lives here i would say no Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is neat. I think we're nearing the end of the hike here. Probably getting there. Can't tell. There's a T coming up ahead. I can't tell if our car's to the left or not. I think it is.
Eldbridge G. Cohen, born December 3rd, 1827, died April 13th. Rest in peace. There's an old cemetery there. Some new graves too. Eighteen seventy eight Little Sioux Cemetery. We made it to the end. We have made it to the end, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.